Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about what ETFs are and how you can buy and sell ETFs completely commission free. So to begin the video I should probably explain what ETF even stands for. An ETF stands for an exchange traded fund. And if you're anything like me, that means nothing to you. So a good general definition of an ETF is just a basket of all these different types of investments that are all grouped together. And this group is known as the ETF. ETFs can be comprised of bonds, stocks, and commodities. They can be a mixture of all three of those, or they can be one specifically. So for example, you can have an ETF comprised solely of stock. ETFs can also be used to track certain indexes. So let's say you want to track the S&P 500. You can buy an ETF that will track right along with the S&P 500. So you're probably thinking, well, that'll just be matching the market's performance. And you're right. And that is awesome. So CNBC actually released an article back on March 15th, 2019 that stated over the past 15 years, 92% of the large cap funds have been underperforming the S&P 500 index. These large cap funds are being ran by some of the nation's best and brightest in the financial industry, and they are not beating the market or the S&P 500 index. So if you can track with the S&P 500 index, you're doing pretty dang well. And I know many of you are thinking, well, I can buy that one stock just like Amazon. I have a friend that bought Amazon 10 years ago and now he's a multimillionaire. Guess what? They got lucky. For the average investor, the best way to do well in the stock market is to diversify. And you can do this very well with ETFs. Another benefit of ETFs is that they have a very low annual operating costs. So low annual operating costs can save you tens of thousands of dollars over a 20 to 30 year period whenever you're investing. So those large cap funds I talked about earlier typically are actively managed. So they have a portfolio manager who's actively changing that fund in order to get the most out of the market or trying to get the most out of the market. Whereas a lot of ETFs are known as passively managed funds. So they don't really have someone manipulating it constantly. But like I said, over the past 15 years, these passively managed ETFs, a lot of them have been outperforming those actively managed funds. That being said though, Actively managed funds can help limit your risk whenever there's recessions because those passively managed ETFs don't have someone that can pull you out of stocks that the fund manager would be able to see, hey, this stock is going down, let's get out of it. Instead, you're kind of exposed to that risk. So there, are, there are ups and downs with both of these. If you're interested in buying ETFs, there's a great new app called Robinhood, and it's very easy to buy stocks and ETFs completely commission-free, and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Once you log into your Robinhood account, buying an ETF is the exact same process you would use in order to buy a stock on Robinhood. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the search window. So in order to do this, hit the search button in the bottom middle of the screen and then type in ETF to the search bar. You'll notice a green bubble popped up that says ETF. We're going to go ahead and click on that and this will bring us to a screen that shows a ton of the common ETFs that many people buy on Robinhood. So let's say we want to buy the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF at the top of the screen. We'll click on it, go hit the green buy button, and this screen will tell us the current market price that those ETF shares are at. So if we want to buy one share of the Vanguard 500 S&P 500 ETF, it'll cost us $277.03. So if we're okay with that, we'll hit the green review button and then swipe up on the screen to submit that request for the ETF share. So this is the exact same process as buying a stock on Robinhood, and it's worth noting that buying and selling ETFs or stocks on Robinhood is completely commission-free. If you guys are interested in setting up a Robinhood account, I actually have a link in the description that if you use this link, both you and I will get a free stock whenever you sign up for Robinhood, so please use that link. And if you think that sounds a little bit sketchy, just Google Robinhood refer a friend free stock, and you'll see that the link is legitimate. That's really all I have on ETFs, guys. ETFs are a great financial tool to help diversify your portfolio and help you track along with the market. But whenever you're buying ETFs, there's a lot out there. So please, please, please do your research. Ask a professional if you feel uncomfortable with anything and you will do very, very well. I hope you guys found the video helpful. And if you did find it helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.